Osborne was found dead on June 28, 2013, in the Plano, Texas apartment he shared with his girlfriend. Though no weapons were found near his body, and police said the death appeared accidental, they launched a precautionary homicide investigation. The cause of death was later determined to be an accidental overdose of morphine and hydrocodone. He also suffered from heart disease, which had been a contributing factor in his death. In June 2015, a wrongful death lawsuit was filed against WWE, claiming that WWE created a culture of violence, and sacrificed Matthew Osborne's brain for its own profit, which led to further illnesses and injuries, including depression and drug abuse, which ultimately resulted in his untimely death. WWE attorney Jerry McDevitt claims the suit is without merit, and blames the attorneys for taking advantage of the families involved.